Are this is a review of the TV Freeway digital antenna, which is an HD TV digital indoor antenna that plugs into the antenna outlet at the back of any TV with no messy wire. I like to point out in their ad that a government mandate required television broadcasters to convert from analog to digital broadcasts. Now, only digital signals are available over the air in the United States and Canada. TV Freeway is a digital antenna that receives over-the-air digital and HD signals for free. The signal is a better visual and audio quality than analog. Digital television enables broadcasters to offer multiple programming choices on a single channel, which are known as sub-channels, which greatly expand viewer choices. High definition is a great part of the digital broadcast signal. Equally great, if not better, is that digital signals enable broadcasters to offer multiple programming choices on a single channel. That means more programs for the viewer. In the pre-digital days, each channel was one channel. Channel 3, for example. Now, the Channel 3 broadcaster can add several sub-channels, making 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, etc., and each sub-channel offers different programming. Not only does the viewer benefit from more choices, the broadcaster expands their advertising platform and can generate additional revenues for their station. We tried to visit the TV Freeway digital antenna website, but our Google browser warned us that the site was not secure and that sensitive information could be downloaded from our computer. We also tried the Firefox browser and were denied access to the website for the same security reasons. There are a couple of things the TV Freeway digital antenna doesn't talk about in the ad. One is reception quality. There are a multitude of things that can affect reception quality, such as tall buildings, trees, hills, distance from the broadcast towers. Assuming all these factors are ideal, there's another factor that changes all the time, and that's weather and other atmospheric conditions. The bad news is that weather and other atmospheric conditions can prevent a channel or channels from being received. Small satellite dishes have this same problem when the weather is bad. The small dishes will lose all of their channels, whereas over-the-air antenna will likely lose one or two channels. The good news is that moving the antenna as few as a couple of inches can return reception to normal for that channel. However, it is possible that one of the other channels could lose reception in its place. Not a problem if you want to watch the channel you just cleared up. And if you want to go back to the other channel, just move the antenna again until it comes in clearly. Once the weather clears up, everything goes back to normal. The TV freeway antenna is designed to attach directly to the TV antenna input on the back. If weather knocks out a channel for the time being, there isn't anything you can do to bring it back on since you can't move the antenna to a different location. So you just have to wait till the weather clears up. This antenna doesn't have much of a range either. They suggest a 25 mile limit, but that seems generous based on the size of the antenna and its configuration. Under perfect conditions, it might work just fine. Because of its small size, it likely won't pick up all the channels available in your area unless you are within a few miles of the broadcast towers. The ad also states that a second antenna can be purchased for an additional $7.99 shipping and handling fee which puts the total cost over $30 for two antennas. Over 350 people have rated this antenna on Amazon, and it isn't pretty. A whopping 52% of buyers give it a one-star rating. The biggest complaint was lack of channels, if any, picked up by the antenna. They were also annoyed they had to pay postage to return the item for their refund. And since the seller charges $8 for shipping and handling for one antenna and $16 for two antennas, they still make money on return since they do not refund shipping and handling. There is a portion of the population this antenna will work for. For those that live within a small radius from the broadcast towers, where the signal is strong and the obstructions are few, if you don't meet those requirements, you're better off looking for an alternative antenna. 
For those of you who would rather have a better antenna with almost twice the range for a fraction of the cost, and I'm talking under $3 per antenna, that can be adjusted to accommodate bad weather without missing your favorite program, then you should watch this five-minute video entitled Free HDTV with a Do-It-Yourself Antenna for less than $3. You won't be disappointed. One advantage of the TV freeway digital antenna has over the homemade antenna mentioned in the video above is that it is not as ugly. The homemade version is definitely ugly, but it can be placed behind the TV or behind the cabinet so it is never seen. The homemade version can be attached to a wall using a push pin, or it can be set on the floor leaning against the wall, or you can make a small hook out of a wire and hang it on the back of your TV.